Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and today I'm gonna to be working on my Mustang. I'm gonna put some oil pump gears in there and a bigger radiator. All right, so I already started taking everything apart, and so this is what I've done so far. So we'll do the easy stuff first. Uh, I took the skid plate off underneath. If you see, there's a little bucket right there. I'm draining the coolant down into there. So, and up top, what we need to do is I had to remove this panel. I removed the intake. And so this is just a little hose so you can hear your engine when you're driving down the road. I don't know, maybe one day I'll get rid of that. Actually, I'll probably get rid of that when I get my new part that's supposed to go here later. But since the coolant is draining, I'm changing the radiator out. I'm taking all the radiator stuff, so once I get this off, there's one hose down there. Oh, do we have a leak? I do have a leak. Look at that. Man, the things you find while you're doing this. Uh, I gotta get a new bottle. Yay. More parts. Woo! So, I don't know. Every time you work on something, you always seem to find things that are wrong. Uh, and then I'll have to take off the brackets and take off the hoses, and then I can pull the radiator out once I take off the bottom hose down there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it goes down there. Radiator is pretty simple to do. Once I do that, I got to take off all the valve covers and the front cover to get to my oil pump that's located down here behind, right there. You can't really see too well. I need to get a better light in there, but behind the balancer and the timing cover, there's an oil pump we need to change. So I got the radiator and everything out, and I just want to say that this Coyote is way easier to work on than the BMW is. Uh, I've I've been here about an hour or so, just a little bit over, uh, it's, and like I'm almost, you know, the radiator is entirely out. I can put the new one in. Now I, I'm going to start working on getting the valve covers off and this front cover off, which I don't think is going to take very long because, like, it doesn't really look like that much. Uh, when we looked up online, it said that this job for doing the oil pump gears is supposed to take about 12 and a half hours, and as smooth as it's going now. I really don't think it's gonna take that long, but now that I've said something, it probably will. So, valve covers were pretty easy to get off. I did have to take the battery box out just to get that one off. On this side, uh, there's less stuff to take off. Now, I did take the water pump off because there's gonna be in the way of taking these bolts off, but right now I gotta take this balancer off. So I got this little puller right here. Uh, it's just like a little three-jaw puller and it grabs onto the, the pulley right there, and then we just tighten this bolt down and that's gonna pull it off. Uh, that's a stretch belt. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get it back on once I get it off, but this is the easiest way I know to get it off is I'm just gonna take the pulley off and it's gonna come off with it. So when I go back together, that's when I'll try to figure out how to do that. All right, so here's what it looks like with the oil pump out. Uh, so here's the factory oil pump and then here's the new billet one. Uh, these ones are not supposed to break. Those ones occasionally blow up once you get over a certain RPM or a certain horsepower. And it honestly wasn't too bad to do once you get all the timing gears and everything off. The hardest part of this whole thing was probably taking the oil pickup tube off right there. So this bolt's not that hard to get to, but that one, you have to take a little 10 millimeter bolt out with a wrench. And you just got to, your you can't stick your fingers in there and you just gotta sit there and like turn a little bit at a time until it comes out. Uh, can't really wait to put that back in. We'll see how that goes. But until then, I'll put this back together. I gotta wait to get for a new O-ring for that pickup tube anyway. So once I get that, then I'll have everything. This I'll put all back together, but I gotta wait till the O-ring comes in and then I can finally put the car back together. All right, so as you can see, I got the oil pump back in back there and I got the tube back on. Honestly, that tube is probably the hardest part of this whole thing is turning the inside bolt because this bolt's easy. That bolt is kind of tucked in there and I had to use a little wrench to turn it a little bit like this at a time until eventually it was tight. So I kind of wanted to go through and show you the timing marks in here. That's a little bit for me and a little bit for you guys. So if you have the keyway straight up and down, so this is a little keyway, point it straight up and down for the timing. This side is your right hand side of the engine, which is the passenger side. And there's a little colored link on there lines right up with that one and then come to the left hand side one which is the driver's side there you can see that colored link right there in the middle and if we go down here to the bottom we have good light there we go so there's the line there's one colored link and the second colored link right back there so this thing's timed just right and should just start up just fine. 
All right, so it's been a couple days now. I've been slowly working on this thing a few hours after work. Uh, honestly, I've been spending most of my time going out and getting parts because for some reason when I go order parts, they either don't have them or they give me the wrong ones and I have to go back. I've had to do it a few times now um, for my valve cover gaskets. I, was, I said I have a 2014 Mustang. They gave it, me the parts for a 4.6, which is 2010 and older and it just doesn't fit. So, But I do have a lot of it put back together. So I got the valve covers put on, I got the front cover put on. Pretty much most of like the main engine part over there is put together. I got a couple of like, I still gotta put the balancer, the water pump, a couple idlers, some belts, and let's see, what else we got over here? That's pretty much it. The rest of it's like the radiator and the intake, and a couple covers, and I'll be done. All right, so as we can see here, I got the crank put on. I got all the valve covers, I got everything hooked together that I need to, even the battery. Uh, I'm going to do a quick start and make sure everything sounds okay. And if everything turns out good, I'll put the rest back together. Alright. So let's take a look here. Alright, so right there I can make sure everything starts up fine, makes everything sounds okay and make sure that oil pressure goes to normal. Uh. Alright, so got the first startup out of the way. There's a little clickety clackety because it's going to do that because it didn't have any oil pressure. It lasted about two seconds and then it just started to run real smooth. So everything sounds good, it's running good, oil pressure went up, means that the pump is working. So now I'm just going to put the rest of it back together and once I'm done with that, I'm going to have to go for a test drive. All right, so I'm at the point now that this was the other reason I wanted to pull everything apart. Yeah, how nice and packaged it is. Let's pull it out, see what it looks like. Oh, that's actually pretty light. Anything else in the box? Nope, the box is empty. Set it down for a second. Bam, look at that. Still on the plastic. This thing looks really nice, it's really light. Uh, it's supposed to give me a little bit more cooling power than the other one. Here, let me take this out of the package and I can show you the difference between the two. Alright, so I got both out on the table. And so some of the biggest problems with stock radiators are these plastic end caps here. Uh, these will get hot and they'll crack and leak and break on you. So with the new one, it's all aluminum, it's all one piece. So these ones also offer a lifetime warranty. So if anything happens, I get to get a new one. I do have to change it out, which is a pain in the butt. but. I do get a new one and I don't have to worry about buying another one. So let's go ahead and put the new one in. Uh, it looks like I got a couple of little things I gotta transfer over. Oh, the drain's really nice. The drain is loose, make sure that's tight. And I gotta transfer over a couple of these little uh, fittings so that it'll go onto the new one and transfer that hose over. All right, so I ran into the first flaw of this radiator. And, sorry about my finger. I had to bend the brackets on the AC condenser up front here to get them to fit, otherwise it was actually moved over a little bit too far to one side. Once I got the one side on, this side kind of fit in place, but I had to bend that one to get everything to move over towards the passenger side so I can get it to fit. Alright, so I got it running again, as you see, idling just fine, uh, it does need to be cleaned off a little bit, I'll probably have to go wash her. It's a little dusty in here if you can't tell. but. I don't see any weird noises. There doesn't seem to be any leaks. That leak was there when I made the mess, but I need to wash that all off. Um, so later today, once I get done with everything else, I'll be able to take her out for a test drive and make sure everything's okay. All right, so I finished taking the Mustang for a test drive. Everything looks good, everything sounds good. I don't see any leaks at the moment, so I'm gonna call it done for right now. Now that I got this done, I got another package coming in, hopefully in the next week or so I ordered it like three weeks ago now and they keep telling me that hey we're gonna ship it out this day but they still haven't I haven't got any kind of confirmation that it's been shipped out but hopefully here soon I'm really excited for when it gets here hey if you guys like what you saw smash that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of this kind of content and you want to see more of my Mustang well don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell that way the next time I post a video on this car which will probably be pretty soon you guys will be the first to know also, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. I do post there from time to time. Thank you guys, I will see you next video.